A few weeks ago, I made a video about five Starfleet ships I wouldn't want to serve on. And now, rather than make a sequel called Five Starfleet Ships I Would Want to Serve On, I have modified the topic slightly. Taking a look instead at five Starfleet ships that I, personally, would like to captain if given the chance. Woe to the crew that gets a random, unqualified person from the 21st century to command their ship, but, you know, that's not my problem. This list is in no particular order, and I should say right off the bat that I don't want to command the larger capital ships which would be sent for more high-stakes diplomacy, showing the flag, or really other responsible grown-up jobs. Instead, I've selected vessels where I could get away with a lot more, and have more fun doing things on more random jobs at more random places. Feel free to make your own selection and tell me what ships that you think you would like to command and why with a comment below. And with that out of the way, let's get on to the first ship on this list. And we have what is probably one of my favorite all-time Starfleet classes, the Intrepid Light Cruiser. These ships were very fast and looked every inch the part. They are very sleek, looking, and while they don't have as many crew amenities as the larger cruisers, they are well enough appointed that I wouldn't be very happy, or that I would be, rather, very happy aboard one. I also can't read, and apparently I'm quite happy. Anyway, basically I would just like flying around the galaxy, going from one point to another rapidly, the entire time shouting, SPEED! POWER! Like some kind of demented future Jeremy Clarkson. Though going fast is not the only thing I like about commanding one of these ships either, as I think that Voyager soaked up all the bad luck for the class, and thus it would be fairly easy and fun service, generally speaking. You know, unless you're jumped by a bunch of Borg, in which case nobody's having a fun day. Not even the Borg, because they don't like fun. Next up, occupying the number two spot, if this list was at all organized, or number four, depending, depending on how it went, we have the Challenger class. This was a light cruiser entering service in the 2360s. The ship was built to act as a general-purpose cruiser, and as such was expected to be capable of performing a wide range of roles, at least adequately. And that's why I would like to captain one of these, because I would, I would be constantly doing something new traveling across the Federation, handling a minor outbreak of Bactrian camel flu on a colony one day, then studying a strange nebula the next. The same kinds of missions that the Enterprise does on the regular, but less high stakes, and hopefully less explodey. The ship also looks rather odd by Starfleet norms, and I tend to like odd ships, so this is really right up my alley. So it's on there. Now this ship, the Ambassador, preceded the Galaxy class by about 20 years, and was very much top of the line and highly capable, even by the time of the Dominion War. It's also quite large. But the ship is, by this point, used mostly in second-line missions, acting as flagships of distant stations, conducting lower-level operations, that sort of thing. The design also looks really cool and is easily one of my favorite Enterprises, I recently made a video of this ship as well about why it's so awesome. I There might be a link, it might show up, I don't know. It It's around. I really like this design. Now, I won't lie. I really like the New Orleans class, and it's pretty much the only ship on this list which I picked for its looks alone. Now, don't get me wrong, I like the appearance of the other ships I put on this list, but with the New Orleans, I don't really even care what missions I would be given while commanding one just because I would look so cool while doing it. And that, that really speaks to me as somebody who's not, well, maybe cool. You don't know. You don't know me. I could be super cool. Eh. And finally, we come to the last ship on this list. Did I say that this list isn't in any particular order? Well, it isn't. Anyway, the last ship I would like to command, well, actually, there are plenty more I would like to command, but this is a top five, so I had to stop myself somewhere. And the Sabre beats out the Norway just barely. Anyway, the Sabre is rated as an escort, though her officially listed stats are just dead wrong in terms of dimensions. The class is actually much bigger than what most sources say, still in the sort of frigate-size escort, but much larger than Defiant. Much larger than Defiant. 
Why would I want to captain a mere escort, you might be asking? Well, this little escort is actually a fairly well-rounded and capable ship, unlike Defiant, which is capable but not well-rounded. It has a wide range of capabilities and crew comforts which would make service aboard the ship comfortable, and the missions she was given always interesting. Or at the very least, occasionally very interesting, but also boring for long stretches of time, which, you know, would let me read and mess around in the holodeck, and that's really good enough for me, usually. And that's it for my list. Let me know the ship that you would most like to captain in Star Trek. It can be a specific vessel like the original Enterprise, or it can be a class in general, like I would like to def command a Defiant or a Kira. If you like the video, then be sure to give it a like, maybe subscribe to the channel for more content like this in future, and if you really enjoy the channel, then you can support it on Patreon via the link in the description below. It's there, you can do that if you want. Anyway, you can do that if you want, but uh, one thing that you can't do that you have no choice over is when this video ends, which is going to be very sad.